If you've seen one gallery wall, you've seen them all, right? Not true, says our DIY expert, Monique. So it's time to get those creative juices flowing because here to show us a brand new way to set up a gallery wall is Mo herself. And I love that you're here <laughs> beside me in person. And yes. you're also going to be focusing a lot on Canadian art. Yes. Uh, which I think is super important and personalized pieces because your wall needs to say something about who you are. So exactly. where do we begin? So we begin with, yes, curating those pieces. And so we have different pieces. We obviously have your staple family photos. Yes. But of course, I have some art here from my daughter Aww. that she did when she was like three years old. Yes, I did save it. Of course you <laughs> did. Of course Then of did. course, we have some pieces from a couple of amazing artists, up and coming artists. We have Rachel Joannes. We have Trisha Abe, both women of color and amazing, doing big things in the art world. Yes. And I just love these pieces for our gallery wall. It's really nice to see this resurgent mm -hmm. of uh, you know young women that are creating this gorgeous uh, illustrative art yes. and getting all of this place and you don't even have to also stick with prints and pictures you could also use textiles yes. I also have some wallpaper here from Candace K where I just found a piece that I really liked a section yes. cut it out and put it in my frame and we have that there so once you have everything pulled together then you want to measure out your space and then we want to start laying out the art. I suggest finding a space on the floor and then using your anchor piece. Have that in the middle and then you start building around it, right? And you want to make sure that you get that balance with the pieces. And it doesn't have to be symmetrical. Yeah. It just has to balance out. So you see I have the gold frames, I have the blacks, it's horizontal or portrait landscape. Yes. You just want to make sure it's balanced out as you put it on uh, and lay it out. Once you have your, your placements all set, a tip that I have is using craft paper. So what you want to do is you want to take your frames and you want to lay it out on craft paper and just trace it out and cut it. Mm -hmm. And then you have these squares. Also, you want to fold it in half because then it will help with hanging. So as you see here, I have it taped on the wall with some painter's tape. And then that's where you can go and start, you know, using your hanging tools to go ahead and start okay, nailing so you're it. Folding it so you know exactly where that nail is yes. gonna go in the middle of the uh, of the artwork. And that's right. always a tough one to figure out. Exactly. And you know they have the little hooks on the back. So yes. all you gotta do is just take your ruler, measure it out from yeah. the top of the frame to where the hook is, and then that's what you could do. You can make a little dot. Yes. And then it will be helpful for you. Hold that that up for us one more time yeah. and turn it around so we yeah. can see what you're talking about there. Yeah. So it's this distance from here to here yes. that you need to measure out right. on your actual art and then you take that over to the wall right. and you figure out how low it should be because I get that wrong all the time yes I that's know that's the most challenging part and then once you have that sorted out you can just go ahead and take off your paper nice and then you can go ahead and hang it up okay so shall I help you here yes so yes. mine have get all been measured I should be able to very easily do this yes and then once you have it hung up very easily do this yes use your <laughs> I know, I know, right? <laughs> then you can get your level. Whew. And then also, a tip that I have as well, in the event that you know you have your painting and it's kind of your art and it's hanging and it's dangling a little bit, yeah. you can get those Velcro strips. Oh, and yes. you can stick them on the back. Okay. And then you can go ahead and that will help secure it on the wall. In the event that you're, you know, if somebody slams the door and it bangs, you won't have yeah. a situation where it drops. I want to see so if mine good. is straight. I'm waiting for the shot on my side. It's not yeah. straight. Yeah. <laughs> my producers are like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's then, not. Yeah. And so there you have it. You have your own personal space, your your own personal gallery wall, yeah. even pieces, you know, that you create. I don't know if you guys remember this one. I went to the Aberfoyle Market and DIY this one. So you can also add your own art. That yeah. is amazing that you did that. And I remember when you picked that up from the market and yes. look what you did with it. That yeah. is incredible. So uh, just quickly before we go, yeah. the space between the, the art, how long should it be? Yes, or about two and a half to three and a half okay. inches spacing between the artworks. Very good. You can okay. find all of Mo's instructions uh, and your pro tips on our website. That's cityline.tv. And since we're talking about beautiful decor, it seems like a good time to give a shout out to our friends at HomeSense who provided us with all of the gorgeous furniture and accessories that bring our new studio to life. We 